The two-slit experiment is very simple, but we have no rational or objective understanding of why the light acts the way it does. But if we look at the two-slit experiment as a process over a period of time, with time being formed photon by photon within the reference frame of the experiment, it can make sense. Light waves will come in contact with the plate with the two slits collapsing into new photons with a position in space and time. The light waves that do not come in contact with the plate will go through both slits. The waves will then form constructive and destructive interference over a period of time and an interference pattern will build up on the screen photon by photon. This interference pattern will continue as time unfolds photon by photon within the isolated reference frame of the experiment. Just as in Newtonian physics only when an external force comes in contact with the light does the interference pattern collapse. When an observer tries to see which slit the photon went through by turning on an electronic detector forming a new photon-electron coupling the interference pattern collapses. This is because the photon-electron coupling represents a new moment in time the moment of now within the reference frame of the experiment. If the observer turns off the electronic detector the interference pattern will reform over a period of time photon by photon. In this theory we have a universal interactive process. The same interference pattern can be seen when sunlight breaks through clouds forming rays of sunlight. The universe is in a process of continuous creation continuously coming into existence with each new photon oscillation. Because the photon is also the carrier of the electromagnetic force electrical potential is the same potential we have with any future event within our own reference frame that we can interact with turning the possible into the actual. In this theory we only need three dimensions and one variable of time the parallel universes of U Everett and the multiple dimensions of string theory are just future possibilities and opportunities within individual reference frames in our one three-dimensional universe. What we see and feel as time is a continuous process of energy exchange that we see as an ever-changing world with an uncertain future unfolding photon by photon. But it is also a ratio of change. The greater the energy, the greater the time dilation, and the slower time will run. Therefore, the greater the curvature of space-time with an increase in gravity, with objects free-falling towards the greatest energy because it has the greatest time dilation. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.